We begin at five with a bombshell political announcement. Longtime Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline is stepping down. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Congressman Cicilline revealed this morning he has accepted a new job as CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. We have team coverage for you tonight. Sheena Loshuto is standing by with reaction to the news and how the process will work for filling Cicilline's seat. But first, let's get right to 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi, who sat down with Cicilline this morning. And Ted, this really all came together pretty quickly. Yeah, that's right, Shannon and Mike. Cicilline says the CEO search committee for the Rhode Island Foundation first approached him a few months ago, but he only decided to take the job in the last couple of days. I'm going to miss lots of things about the job in Washington. Congressman David Cicilline telling 12 News why he's decided to step down after more than a decade in Congress to lead the Rhode Island Foundation. The Rhode Island Foundation is one of the largest and oldest community foundations in America. Um, it, I think, has a tremendous uh, potential to grow even more. And there's no important issue in the state of Rhode Island that the Rhode Island Foundation isn't involved in some way. Thank you all for being here today. Cicilline when has been serving in Rhode Island elected office for nearly 30 years including two terms as mayor of Providence. He also broke barriers as one of the most prominent LGBTQ politicians in Rhode Island and then in Washington. We've made tremendous progress. I was the first openly gay mayor of a capital city elected when I was elected mayor. When I got to Congress, there were three LGBTQ members. We now have 12, so we broke double digits. Um, but at the same time, we're seeing our community under relentless attack all across the country. Richard Lucchetti spent years as one of Cicilline's top aides on Capitol Hill. And when he got to Congress, you have to remember in 2010, it was a wave election for Republicans. He was one of only nine Democrats elected to Congress that year and really rolled up his sleeves, dug in and continued doing what he's always done, which is to fight for the people who sent him to Washington. It's a great job. I'm sure there'll be a lot of interest in it. And, you know, I hope we're going to get to a point where there's less division in Washington and, and uh, we can get more things done. The new job will also come with a significant pay raise for Cicilline. He'll make $650,000 a year, more than triple his salary in Congress. Live in studio, Ted Nisi, 12 News. Congressman David Cicilline says he's leaving Capitol Hill to take a job back here in Rhode Island. That tees up another congressional <laughs> campaign just months after the election in the 2nd District. Politics editor Ted Nisi sat down with the congressman this morning and Ted, the news came to a shock to a lot of people. Yeah, Mike Shannon, you know, this is one of those announcements that actually does qualify as a bombshell in politics. Cicilline's decision will end a three decade career in elected office and it set off a sudden scramble to replace him. The more I thought about the opportunity, the more excited I became. Congressman David Cicilline sitting down with 12 News just after his shock announcement that he plans to resign and become CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. You can tell me, everyone, I will never not believe that to some extent you looked around at the current state of the House and it was maybe less appealing than it has been in the past. Look, I mean, I think the House has always been... Um, a partisan place, at least for most of the time that I've been there. I think it's gotten particularly bad now. As head of the Rhode Island Foundation, Cicilline will oversee millions of dollars a year in charitable donations and play an influential role in state policy debates. The job also pays $650,000 a year, more than triple his salary in Congress. As I thought about where can I make the biggest difference in Rhode Island, leading this incredible organization that's involved in all of the things that matter, healthcare and economic opportunity and education, or, you know, spending the next few years in the House. And there was no question that I am certain that I'm going to have a greater impact. The decision brings to an end, for now, one of the most successful Rhode Island political careers in recent decades. Thank you all for being here today. Cicilline was elected Providence mayor in 2002 after several terms in the state legislature. He moved to Congress in 2010, defeating multiple rivals to succeed Patrick Kennedy. This let's, let's absolutely respond. absurd. And survived initial criticism over his stewardship of Providence's finances to win re-election six times. Could you see yourself going back into elected office, some public office running again, or is this is this it? This that chapter of your life is ending now. Yeah, I mean that's my intention to stay very focused on this new role and make sure, like as in every job I've ever had, I'm going to put a hundred percent of my heart and soul into this work to be the best president and CEO I can be and to make the biggest difference. I don't have any plans to run for office after this. And Cicilline will formally resign on June 1st. A special election to fill the seat will take place sometime after that. And Cicilline tells me he does not plan to endorse in the race for his old seat. All right, Ted, thank you very much.